Hello everyone, Alan here. Got a little surprise for you. A couple things hidden under the cups here. Uh, we're going to be doing a uh, pour on an 8x20 canvas. Uh, no base paint. And underneath the cups are two uh, fruit infusers. So what we're going to do is we're going to test my ambit dexterity and see how uh, what kind of results we get from this. The paints I'm going to be using tonight Soho's Dioxazine Violet, Artist Loft Light Violet, The Black, Lucas Light Gray, Lucas Carmine, and Soho's Azo Red Deep. So what I'm going to do is fill up both of these cups starting off with the Soho Dioxazine Violet. And what I'm going to do is try to put even amounts in each of the cups. Keyword is try. I'm going to try to get a, an even balance as I pour into both of the fruit infusers. So the color I'm using right now is Artist Loft Light Violet. Got a little too much in that one cup. Then we're going to go with the black. All these paints do have uh, silicone in them, including the black. Lucas Light Gray. I feel well. I was, when I'm filling these cups, I should probably be singing to you, but you don't want to hear me sing. Then we're going to go with Lucas Carmine. Soho is Azo Deep Red. sequence of the same colors in. Not so much this time though. When we get done with the tapings that we're doing this week and the, the paintings this week, I have a feeling we're going to be mixing more paints later on in the week. We the black next. The Lucas light gray. And I don't ever remember using this color. It's a very, very light color gray. Lucas Carmine. The key to this pour is going to be the ambidexterity and being able to pour them at the same time and hopefully at the same rate. Just for giggles, I'm going to put one more layer of each of the colors in. Now the good thing is I am done.
prepping tiles. So if I use a little too much paint, I have about 40 tiles that I can use the excess paint for. Because if you've been watching me, I have a habit of using a little too much paint at times. And that's just part of the learning curve. up with the Soho Azo Deep Red. Okay, so we've got 12 ounce cups here, approximately 7 ounces of paint in each one, so I'm going to have plenty of paint to pour. And I'm going to, and this is one of the advantages with, with us doing as much work as we are in the forage, um, we, we have a tendency to eat out a little too much, don't have time to do a lot of cooking. So um, rather than just throwing away our drink cups, we're able to wash them out and use them in the actual forage. So I have both cups ready to be poured. The other key thing is to make sure I don't tip over the uh, fruit infusers. So here it goes. And I've already started the right one too quick. <laughs> 